Hey guys, this is McTodgic, back with another episode of the Translucent Plastics Archive. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking again about another MacAli product. As I mentioned in a previous episode, MacAli is a company that developed a lot of Macintosh products, um, well, accessories, that is, going back into the 90s and is still alive today. This example is of a MacAli iSweetNet. That's what they, they had some uh, kind of generic and weird names for their products, but you can see, let's have a look at the label here. Now, what is this? Let's talk about it. So, um, MacAli made a product called the iMouse, which was a Bondi Blue single button mouse, and it was designed just to replace the Apple Puck mouse. So, you know, they developed the iKey, which had a full extended keyboard to replace the sort of small sized Apple USB keyboard. And they developed the iMouse to replace the mouse in a similar way. Um, when the Fruit Color iMacs came out, MacAli developed a number of uh, mice that came with the matching colors, and those were called the iSuite, uh, going with the sort of fruit lolly theme. So what they developed here is another product called the iSuite Net. Now the reason it's called the iSuite Net is because it comes with a scroll wheel and a left and right click. So you've got a three button mouse with a scroll wheel. And back in the days of the early internet, the idea of a scroll wheel was a primarily a, a feature that you would use for web browsing, you know, browsing through web pages. So it, it was really a, something not essential, but something that was expected if you wanted to use the web a lot, you'd want a scroll wheel. Uh, so yeah, this was developed back in the, I think in 1999, and this product in particular actually came in the box with multiple different color jackets. The jackets are these these colors, so if you just bought one, you could change the color whenever you wanted. Uh, I haven't actually tried taking one off, but essentially they just kind of come off and then you can swap them around. The idea of this was, I suppose for Mac Ally, reducing inventory costs of having to have multiple different colors available in stores, that was always going to cause a sales problem and a stocking problem. So instead, they just decided to put all the colors in the single bits of plastic into the same into the same product, right, into the one box, and then you could choose to swap them as you wanted. Uh, but of course, most people would have just bought the mouse, got the color that matched their color of iMac, and then thrown out the rest of the plastic, because who needed that? Uh, so today, yeah, what I have for you is just a blueberry color. I don't have the rest of the colors, at least for now. And um, this is obviously uh, late 90s, but not so much the early 2000s. And the reason I say this is because of that trackball. Of course, the, it's ball, it's a mechanical operated mouse. Optical wasn't quite in yet. It was just around the corner, but it hadn't quite been, uh, well, Apple hadn't made their optical mouse yet. So we have a regular old track. A ball here, nothing special. The enclosure is translucent. The main color is just from the is from this sleeve, which isn't quite a match to blueberry, but it's not bad. Uh, and then the rest of it is essentially just clear plastic shell. So uh, there's not much else to say about that one. It's pretty standard product. Unfortunately, mine doesn't actually work on the left click. The left click's been stuck. The right click still works, so you can have a listen to how that sounds. Scroll wheels, like a lot of uh, 90s scroll wheels, aren't very satisfying to use, but the click is not bad. It seems to be fairly state standard and fairly usable. You notice that the cable is also uh, translucent, as MacAli did put the effort in to make their, at least the cables, correct. And you've got a reinforced cable here, which Apple stupidly rarely did, but uh, it just prevents the cable from fraying over time as you use the product. As for the shape, it's actually quite narrow compared to other mice from the time. I'm not sure if that's a deliberate decision of they wanted their pr products to be a bit more sleek. But uh, yeah, that's the design. And uh, there's not much else to say about this one. This is just the MacAli iSuite Net. I haven't seen any videos about it on YouTube, so might as well be the first, hey? So if you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and I'll have some more soon.